Good morning. It's me, George P., George Peckett, founder dude. You know, Mexico MySpace and Mexico MySpace classifieds. I hope that everyone in any sort of business had a nice weekend. What I'm going to do is to attempt to help you have more profitable weekends in the future. It will take some work on everyone's part. Uh, since you uh, read the intro page, you know that this presentation is all about Pinterest. I can't teach you print Pinterest, but I can introduce you to it and show you the things we can do together. This, uh, get up here, is my first Pinterest effort. My first Pinterest page. I created this on uh, March 11th. That's when I started with zero. And uh, it's called Mexico and Techno. And there's a story behind that, but it's Mexico and Technology. And uh, as you can see up here, it's connected to my Twitter page, to my Facebook account. There's a locator for where I am. And uh, what I have are 64 boards. This is called, this whole thing is the page. 64 boards, 963 pins, 44 likes. I should have more. I have 210 followers. I did have more, but Pinterest threw a monkey wrench in the business. And I ha I'm following 1,014 people. Now, uh, each board has its own uh, numbers. Uh, happenings in Mexico has 82 pins. We click on that, it opens, and it shows that it has 182 followers on those 82 pins and uh, each one of these is a pin which uh, the pin links to either a, a video or an article or something it's not standalone okay now this I click on board it goes back to the boards. Let's see, here's a, uh, let's go down some, here's, here, oh, where do I want to go, Los Cabos, Mexico. Click on Los Cabos, and then click on a pin, living in Los Cabos. And it's uh, about the cost of living in Los Cabos by Carol Billups of Mexico MySpace. It's a blog post. So if you click on the picture again, it takes you to Mexi Mexico MySpace and her blog post. Um, Living in Los Cabos, Cost of Living Revisited. So in other words, she did another one. Uh, and she's revisiting that cost. Okay. That's uh, back to Mexico and Techno. After uh, creating that page, a month or two later, I created a second page which is Mexico-centric. My Mexico, your Mexico. It used to be named something else. It used to be Homes for Sale in Mexico or something, and I, I changed it when I decided to change my orientation. We're going to end this video uh, right here and start up part two and try to finish in... Uh, six minutes for the whole thing for now anyhow so we'll start back with uh, Mexico centric stand by